Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful Tunisian cross stitch. It's a multiple of two stitches to make one X stitch or one cross stitch. So let's get started. I'm Carolyn and my website is thepurpleponcho.com. Thank you for being here. So to begin, I make a slip knot and place it on my hook, and I'm going to chain eight. This, uh, the hook, the stitch on my hook counts as my first stitch. So now I'm going to pick them up in the back bump in the next seven stitches. So insert my hook in the back bump, yarn over, and pull up a loop. And we're going to do that all the way across. And the last stitch. Okay, it's a good idea to count how many stitches you have on your on your hook. Two, four, six, eight. So to do the return pass, yarn over, pull through one, it makes a chain on the end. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to repeat this all the way across until we have one stitch left on our hook. There we go. So that is row one. And it's setting up our our foundation row to make the X stitch. So to begin the X stitches, we're going to be working with two stitches. So this is our first stitch on the end and we're going to just ignore that. That's already used up. So we're dealing with the next two stitches. So we're going to skip over to that third stitch and we're going to place a Tunisian simple stitch in that in that loop or under the vertical bar. So that's one Tunisian simple stitch. Now we're going to go back to our skipped stitch and place a Tunisian simple stitch in there. And that makes our X stitch or cross stitch. Now looking at the next two stitches, we're going to skip the first one, go underneath the second one and put a Tunisian simple stitch there. Go back to our skip stitch and place a Tunisian simple stitch in there. And we have another cross stitch. Repeating again, skip the next stitch, put a simple stitch in the next one, go back to our skip stitch and place a simple stitch in there. Now on the end, we're going to go through both loops on the end, on the side, yarn over and pull up a loop. So we still have eight stitches and we have three cross stitches and then one on each end, one regular stitch. Okay, so for the return pass, yarn over, pull through one, makes the chain, and yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Repeat across until we have one stitch left on our hook. I'm going to show you one more time. We're going to skip over to that third stitch and place a simple stitch. Go back to our second stitch, or yeah, second stitch, and put a simple stitch in there. Now we're going to skip the next stitch, go into the second stitch, go back to that first stitch that we skipped, and put a, a simple stitch there. Too many S's. Okay, uh, one of the tips that I have for you is when you pull up this first stitch here, it's it's simple or it's easy to do, but when you go back to the skipped sk stitch, sometimes the yarn will split right here. So when you're inserting your hook into that skipped stitch, sometimes it'll it'll split it. So just make sure you're going under the entire stitch 
and pulling up a loop. Otherwise you'll have some area here on the on the front that you can see where you split it. So just make sure you get all, all the way underneath there. And then on the end, go through both loops on this side and pull up a loop. And return as usual. Now to bind off when you're completed your project and you want to end off your yarn, you have to finish these loops. So I like to bind off in pattern and then do a slip stitch. So it's the same exact thing, except we're going to slip stitch the right off the hook. So going in the skip stitch and then slip stitch. Skip one, going underneath the next one, Oop. and then slip stitch. And then going into your skipped stitch, to need a simple stitch, and then slip stitch. So same exact thing, but just slip stitch it right off. And that's all there is to it. And on the end, do the same thing, slip stitch it right off. So here's my little sample. And here's my bigger sample. It makes a really pretty ribbing. I have several patterns coming up that is going to be utilizing this stitch. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial on how to make the Tunisian cross stitch. It's very beautiful. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to make this beautiful stitch. I'd love for you to hit subscribe and the notification bell to get notified of new videos coming to my channel. Thank you for being here and thank you for crocheting with me. Have a great day.